Ant, are you a believer in Mark Vientos? Uh, you know, the jury to me is still out, Sal. I have advocated for him to get more playing time in the big leagues because I do want to have a chance to evaluate him and see. And obviously, this hot streak is, is speaking greatly of him, and it's impressive. I, I do enjoy guys, you know, regular f viewers of the show know I like exit velocity. Yeah. <laughs> Vientos hits the ball hard. Uh, that That is something that he's got going for him. And, and look, I think he could be a possibility on this team next year uh, in the DH platoon as, a, as an extra first baseman slash third baseman, but mostly DHing because he can H, uh, as they say. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like him. Uh, I'm not ready to say he's the greatest. I mean, if the Mets trade him for a badly needed relief pitcher over the winter to another exit mm. velocity loving person, then I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I, I think what's really hard is when you are shifting between the big leagues and the minor leagues, trying to find consistency, trying to figure out your swing, the strike zone. Those things are all different, right? But I think what I'm lacking from Mark Vientos is consistency. I want to see more consistency. So for me right now, there isn't a permanent spot for him in the lineup. I also am wondering if he's not just DHing, who's not playing third base? Brett Beatty, Ronnie Mauricio. What's the situation in that position? Because I don't think his defense is better than the other two. And I think their bats, especially Bet Beatty's, if he can figure it out, is going to be better as well. So for me, I don't necessarily know if there's a spot for him. Maybe the DH situation evolves throughout the offseason, but right now I need more consistency to allow him to be in that lineup every day. All right, Jim, can the Mets roll with Vientos as their DH next year, or do they finally need to go out and get a proven designated hitter in the offseason? Yeah, the Mets need a top 10 uh, type of offensive producer to be in that DH role. If you look at all the really good DHs this year, none of them are, well, there's one that's under the age of 25, Edward Julian with Minnesota. The, the rest of them are experienced guys who've been in the league five, six, seven years. Harper's at the top of it, Ozuna, Guriel, Otani, of course, Santander. I mean, those are the names uh, experienced hitters that they need to acquire, somebody like that to be in the DH spot. And listen, David Stearns, in Milwaukee did a lot of rotating around in that DH spot. That's garbage with this team in this city, with this payroll, you can't do it. He has a, a you know, a, a really tight payroll. So that's one way to do it, but it's not the way to do it in New York. You need somebody full time. I'm sick of watching this offense without enough. Uh, Jim, if, help around Pete Alonso, so. Yes, if you were here in studio, I would be hugging you and kissing you right now. I love that. Go get a real DH. Yes. 